From this moment on, he will be known as the 100 M Euro Man. When he arrives in Madrid he will be accompanied to the Bernabeu by police outriders, pursuing paparazzi and passionate fans the 11th Galactico in the white number 11 shirt. His every appearance will bring with it a weight of expectation. He will be faded and vilified, his life will come under the microscope like never before. But none of whatever triumph, disaster, heartache and adulation he faces in Madrid will be allowed to go to his head. That is because Bale does not fit the stereotype of the world's most expensive footballer. He does not drink alcohol, he is scared of spiders and he visits his mum in South Wales when he gets time off. The boy from North Cardiff has never found it hard to stay grounded. Those closest to him describe him as beguilingly modest, polite and normal. His girlfriend, Amaris Jones, is his childhood sweetheart and most of his closest friends are from his school days. In public, he is understated, wary of saying anything that might be deemed boastful. No one, it seems, has a bad word to say about him. That is not to say that Bale does not have a mischievous side. In the dressing room, he is the life and soul of the party, dishing out the banter and repartee. But when the subject turns to football, his friends talk of his pure love of the game above all else. As a young boy in South Wales, he would drag his father Frank off the sofa when he got back from work and across to the park for yet another kick around. Literally, from the age of three. All I thought about was football, he once said. I never wanted to do anything else and what people said, what will you do if you don't make it, as a footballer I couldn't answer because I'd never thought of doing anything else.